I um, want to do a quick video and show you the project that I've been working on this weekend. Um, it's kind of like making a big old friction folder and um, doing something a little different. Uh, I really like making like slip joints and stuff like that. And so I thought I would make uh, slip joint style scales with uh, uh, dovetailed brass bolsters and just kind of turned out pretty cool. So check it out. Um, I'll just show you a little bit. A lot of people don't know how to uh, solder on bolsters. And uh, so I'll just show you what that process looks like. And that's where I'll start with making the frame uh, for the knife. So here are the parts for that. Um, you can see there's two brass liners that I've drilled out and then I cut out pieces of brass for the bolsters. So now um, I have my disc sander set up at a 45 degree angle and uh, I'm simply carefully grinding a dovetail, 45 degree dovetail, into each of the bolsters. Just do this carefully until um, I get the angle that I'm looking for. Next thing to do is just clean up these uh, bolsters right here. I'm just sanding them to get them nice and clean. Then I vice grip them onto the liners and I'm just making a line here marking where they'll end so that I know where to put the silver solder on. And I just do this on both of the liners. After they're nice and clean, I wipe them down a little bit with acetone to get any grease off. And then I'm just applying some uh, flux right now, just using the silver solder. Then I heat up the scale where the flux is. And once it's up to heat, I touch it with some solder. And uh, this is called tinning, when you just put a light coat of solder um, all over the pieces that you're wanting to put together. And you can see I got a little dirty here, so I'm having a hard time getting it to stick. And I'm just adding some flux. Probably need to reheat here. And there we go. So I just used the back of an old piece of uh, emery paper right here and uh, just kind of flick the excess off. Um, and you usually can get good tinning. Sometimes you miss a spot and then you just have to uh, make sure that you go back and get it again. Now, unfortunately, I didn't film this very well. It's happening off camera a little bit, but uh, I'm taking these liners, which have been tinned, and then after I flux the bolster, I'm laying it right on top of that and then holding it on with a pair of vice grips. You'll be able to see it here. So I just clamp the vice grips on like that and just heat it until the solder runs. It just pops a little bit, and then you get just a perfect uh, bond as you can see, that's kind of what it looks like, and um, I do that to both sides. Here's what it looks like, just mocked up a little bit. I've got the bolsters soldered on, got the holes drilled, and just some tri pins in there. And I uh, haven't ground the blade yet, I'm just making sure that it works. It locks up, um, the attitude of the blade is right. So here's the shape of the blade. I kind of like this. Um, it's kind of an upswept, trailing, Persian-y looking thing. This is what it looks like ground. Fortunately, when I heat treated this blade, uh, it cracked. I had some hair thin cracks in two places because I quenched it um, in hot water just trying to get a hamon. And uh, so anyway, uh, kind of a bummer. It's kind of tough to see the crack there, but uh, I definitely heard it ping <laughs> after a couple seconds in the water. And uh, it's a terrible sound to hear, but, you know, I have more steel, so I will make a new blade out of this piece of 1095, and I uh, wish it happened that fast, but there it is. So while the blade was tempering, I thought I would work on the scales, and you can see here how I'm dovetailing this green G10 to fit together with the dovetail and the brass, and it's really nice and tight, so I'm happy with that, and I'll go ahead and glue those up. 
and there's what the knife looks like just again it's not finished or anything I'm just trying it out with loose pins and stuff in there and uh, I'm starting to really like uh, that it's looking good So here's the finished product, and uh, just a big old beefy, <laughs> big knife. Um, I love how this thing feels, and you can see there uh, the nice hamon and um, copper pivot, hardened steel, um, stop pin, green G10. Um, it's got the dove dovetail bolsters. You can see how that that looks there pretty cool and uh, just a lot of fun this thing is a beast uh, it's kinda heavy because of the brass but um, very, very very cool and uh, this sucker uh, seriously seriously sharp too but uh, a lot of fun um, I'll probably put a few finishing touches on it I've got to put my maker mark on it still um, but, uh, yeah, um, you have to let me know what you think. Um, I'm thinking about, too, maybe p putting a patina, um, on this brass. Um, I'm not sure yet, but, uh, I think I'm going to play around with it a little bit. But, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, got a couple different things going on. Um, it's been a little bit of a slow time in a good way for me at work. Um, in my business and so I've had a little little bit of time at home and then February I'm gonna be traveling a lot again but um, I'm gonna be uh, working on this um, cut these out too um, these are titanium liners so you can see I'm gonna make a liner lock it's been a little while since I made one so uh, thought man you know it's time and um, That'll be fun. That'll be coming up sometime soon. So help hope everyone's doing great. Have a great weekend and a uh, wonderful week ahead.